In this section of the video, I will demonstrate the initial state of the handlings before any modifications have been applied. These handlings have intentionally been designed to appear unrealistic in order to highlight the capabilities of the tool. In the handling config file, you have the ability to define any handling.meta value for each vehicle class in the game. If you're uncertain about how to edit the handling config file, I recommend checking out my video tutorial on the handling.meta. Here you can see the car handling.meta values before the tool has been used. Once you have set your desired handling.meta values in the config file for every class, you can then launch the tool and choose your car pack folder. It will then process the handlings and apply your custom class handling values to all cars accordingly. As you can see, all the handling config values have been set to the car's handling.meta. Once the tool has processed all vehicles, you can restart the pack and test your new handlings. The handlings are now much more realistic. Keep in mind that you can edit attributes like speed, acceleration, and braking automatically, but addressing issues like cars flipping in corners may require manual adjustments due to variations in the height of each car model. You can refer to my previously mentioned handling.meta video on how to fix flipping in corners. Link in the description. Now for this car, the handling has not been adjusted, we can check in the tool the reason why. Here we can see that there is an error no handling configuration found for class VC compacts. There are two possible scenarios that could explain the error. It could be due to a misspelled class name in the vehicles.meta file, or it's possible that you haven't added a configuration for the specific class in the config file. In this case, the class was misspelled in the vehicles.meta. It was set as VC Compacts instead of VC Compact. After you have fixed the vehicle class, you can use the tool again. No error this time. Now it has the realistic handling changes made. You can also update multiple car resources at once. The car handling.metas do not have to be in the same resource file. Here we can see that the tool updated handlings in both selected resources. That concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions or need further assistance with the tool, please feel free to reach out on my Discord. You can find the invite link in the video description.